Ladies and gents, it's time to put this bad boy in the eclipse. What I didn't tell you is that this is actually a fully built sequential shifting trans with an LSD in it. No, I'm just kidding. But it will get rid of the crunch. I have no idea what this process is going to entail, but I'm assuming I'm gonna to have to remove pretty much every accessory above the transmission. I obviously remove both the axles, remove the starter, remove some of the motor mounts on both the transmission, angle the motor, and then pull it off. That's just a guess though. Gonna have to drain the coolant, gonna have to drain the brake fluid and the clutch fluid, and then we can continue uh, our disassembly. Ah, uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Hey, dude. What's that? You want to help with the trans spot? All the accessories are off the trans. Now I just got to get the axles out and then start doing the motor mounts and all the uh, trans bolts. Well, I cannot for the life of me get these axles to pop out, mostly because the only thing I can fit under here is a little flathead screwdriver to pry on it. So I'm gonna take a break, get some food and make a run to Harbor Freight to pick up some, some smaller pry bars. Mission accomplished. My first pry bar of choice. I'm moving the entire motor, but it's not doing anything. Harbor Freight, God damn it! What kind of idiot makes a pry bar that's not full tang? <gasps> it's a boy! Nice thing about having the other transmission right here is that I can kind of look at where all the bolts are and such, figure it out. So I got the top four out. But there's one, two, three, four. Ah. Try to take the sensor off here. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> it was barely attached. It's always a good idea to take the sensors off before trying to remove it because oftentimes they can get in the way of things and then you can mess them up and that's it's never it's never good. Oh look at that. Trans just separated beautifully. Just come on, yank it out. Oh yeah, just like that. Look at that. Bro, that was the easiest thing I've ever done. Look at that beauty. Now 
Now we're gonna replace the axle seals on this new one. Pretty her up a bit. While I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the clutch and flywheel off, replace the rear main seal. The clutch feels really good, so we'll inspect it while it's out, but I hope it's good. Then I also have, you know, all the other stuff, like a new throwout bearing, and a couple of you guys recommended like spacing out the pivot ball for the throwout bearing, some other stuff. I'll go ahead and do all of that. Looks fine. Flywheel doesn't look so great, but. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best looking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's leaking. It is the next morning. The transmission is looking fresh after a couple of coats of paint. You know, obviously that's not gonna last too long, but it's better than nothing. I got all the parts that I overnighted last night, throw bearing, all that. We're gonna put that on the new transmission and then uh, put the new rear main seal in and uh, put everything back together.
I think the transmission is ready to go back in. We got the new rear main seal in, flywheel clutch all put back together, which might in the future have to come back out to be upgraded. Previous owner told me that he made 454 wheel horsepower with that clutch. Not sure if I believe him, but we'll find out. The transmission is in. I got one of the axles put back in, some of the accessories started back in. The rest of the process is just bolting on all the uh, other small things that have to go back on. Then we gotta do like an oil change, put you know, fluid in the trans. Uh, and also I do have a new clutch master cylinder. I'm gonna bleed that, adjust that a little bit. I was playing the clip. Uh -huh. And then I paused it, and right as I paused it, Zach and I heard, ah! If I had a bench vice, it wouldn't be that hard. It's the fact that I'm doing it on freaking bricks. <laughs> Sorry. Did kill me? Yeah, what I didn't, the fuck? <laughs> didn't mean to. What if you got an intern to do all this? <laughs> that would be great, actually. Do I want an internship at Gingium? Email. <laughs> Email Gingium at thissucks.net. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been out here today? Something woke up? Wait, what if you got a shot? <laughs> I'm gonna stab you right <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the current shop, it's all natural. <laughs> hey, it's got yeah, I'm waiting for a... Uh... A rage moment? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's coming. Oh, it's it's on the it's on the edge. <laughs> I've been fighting it off this entire time. Oh shit! Oh! Hey! oh! 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 Right, we got the old old bushing out. I have to push the new bushing in. Let's see, we're gonna go to the other side of the stairs. Oh yeah. Easy. Oh yeah, if you haven't noticed, Zach's back in town. What's up guys? My name is Zach and I'm reviewing this bald kid right here. I think I've seen you more while living in Georgia than I than I have while living in Chicago. Uh that is completely true. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're pretty much ready to test it. Everything's put back together. All the fluids are put back in. Got some awesome pens oil for the motor. Got some awesome red line for the transmission. <laughs> Oh my god. I finally swapped transes. Woo! 
<laughs> totally fine. Oh, yikes. That was uh, something. They didn't like something. <laughs> but the transmission's working. Oh, uh oh. Oh no, it's breaking up now. Is it? Uh oh, yeah, it's like dying. Oh, great. Oh no, what happened? I floored it and then it cut out for some reason and then started misfiring. Oh. We're good. I just forgot to tie in a coupler. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little brake test, okay? 60 to zero. I do not consent. I do not consent. I do not consent. Oh. That's full brakes. It's pretty bad, isn't it? I smell them. I yeah. for sure smell them. Here's the thing. I spent the morning driving two cars with carbon ceramics. Oh, yeah, so... Um, so that ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> is because the front motor mount is totally gone. Oh, okay. So I need to replace the rest of those motor mounts with the upgraded ones, but I mean, with a little bit more power, this thing is gonna rip. It already does rip, I mean, to be fair. True, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's already really fun. In the next video, we're taking the Eclipse to the dyno to see what kind of power it makes before initiating phase two of the build. Put your guesses in the comment section below. If you wanna watch the dyno video right now, you can click up there, head over to Patreon, and become a patron to watch it. Huge thank you to anyone who does that, but otherwise, I'll see you in a few days. Peace out, and goodbye.